Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Welcome to the class, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello. How are you? Uh -huh. Hello, everyone. How are you today? How do you feel? Sorry, teacher. Excellent. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to the class. Welcome, welcome to Pray Intermediate 2. Very good. So my name is Clarissa. I will be your teacher in this level. So nice to meet you, everyone. I'm here to help you, okay? So any time that you may have some questions, or if there is something that you don't understand very well, you can tell me and I will help you, okay? Let's see, I can see a few people with the camera on and the other ones, I want to see you guys. So please keep the camera on. All right. Were you together in the previous level or is this your first class? Uh-huh. Anyone? We are together in the previous level. Ah, you were together. Excellent. So you know each other. Um, is anyone here that is the first class? Is anyone new? In my case, it's my first class. This is your first class. Okay, so welcome. Welcome it's to my first, place. It's my first class too. Okay, Herman and Jocelyn is your first class too? Okay. The rest of you guys, you were together in the previous level. Yes? Yes. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, remember that we are a team. So from now, we have to help each other. So for the ones that are new, welcome to the group. And we are going to help each other. So we are going to learn. Let's see, let's see. Ah, I can see more people with the camera on already. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Thank Guys. You uh -huh. I have problem with my charger. With your what, I'm sorry? Uh, charger. Okay. Uh, yes, and in my computer is um starting now, and I have a little problem. Okay. Well, I hope that the charge can last, and if not, you can try to connect from your cell phone or from another device. No problem. Okay? Yes. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. All right. So, guys, welcome again. Tell me, why do you study English? Why? What's the reason for being here? I want to listen to you. Who wants to give me the answer? I want to improve my English. Okay, sounds good. That's a good reason. Mm -hmm. And you guys, why? Why do you want to learn English? Why are you studying? In my case, I study English because I want to get a good job in a call center, for example. Nice. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. Anyone else? Why are you here, guys? Why are you studying English? I want to listen to your reasons, your purpose. In my case, uh -huh. I want to travel because I want to live in UK with my sister. So nice. this is my reason. Ah, that's an awesome reason. Very good. Anyone else? Uh, in my case, because my I like the language and I would like to have more opportunities. Nice. <laughs> very good. Very good. I was listening to. In her. my case, I have I. I want to have a better opportunities, uh, to travel or or get a job. Very good. 
And remember, guys, as your classmate said, with the language, yes, you can get better opportunities. Better opportunities means more money. Do you want to get more money? Yes, of course. Go on. Yes. yes, absolutely. All right. So listen, I'm asking this because um, remember that for this course, you need to be very responsible. Okay. So if you are here, it's because you have a purpose. You want to be here. So we need to be very responsible and follow the rules. Okay. So let us start it. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. I'm going to explain some details that the ones who were in the previous course, you already know that, but for the ones that are new, pay a lot of attention. And let me explain. Okay. Let's see, can everybody see the presentation, everyone? Not really, yes. Yes? Can yeah, you? I can see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yes. Perfect. Okay, yeah. everybody. So this is the pre-intermediate two. We are in the unit one, and this is the first class. Today is August 29th. Let me explain a little bit our calendar, okay? This is our activities calendar. So today we are starting here. Today is the first day. Today, we are going to start the unit number one, okay? During the level, we are going to study five units, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we are going to study the unit one, then we are going to study the unit two, unit three, and uh, don't write in the whiteboard, please. Listen, during the course, we are going to have two speaking evaluations, okay? So in this calendar, the first speaking evaluation will be around September 11. And I say around because sometimes we can change the dates depending on the progress that we have, okay? So if our progress is good, we can have the exam, okay? If not, we can move the exam some few days. Um, this level is going to finish, look, September 26. The last two days, we are going to have the second speaking evaluations, all right? So during uh, this level, guys, we are going to be working with a platform I know that in this moment, maybe you don't have the user yet, but you are going to receive the user and the access to the platform. Later, when you have the users, I'm going to explain how you can use the platform, okay? The idea is that every week we need to have an advance in the platform. I mean, every week we need to work in the platform but I'm going to give you the details later when you have the access, okay? When you have the users. Um, recommendations, please. When the coordinator asks you for um, your email address, guys, be very careful with that, okay? Because you need to provide a correct email address check your email at three times if it is possible, okay? Verify that you are sending the correct email address, but that is when the coordinator asks you for that, okay? Now, um, rules, what are the rules that we need to follow? First of all, we need to work on the platform. Again, this is, when you receive the access, when you receive the users. So uh, I'm going to explain this later. Then these are the rules that you need to follow in the class. And I want to be very clear with this. Rules, that means that it's not optional. These are rules that the INSA4 wants, okay? This is what they ask. 
in this moment, this is a scholarship. Are you paying for the English class right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you paying for being here in the class? No. No, no, no. Really. I, I have a scholarship. Exactly. This opportunity, guys, is for free. You can receive the knowledge, you can receive the class, you will receive the access to the platform totally free. And this is the only things that the INSAFORP is asking about. Look, the first thing is I need you guys to write your full names on your profiles in Zoom. But first, you need to write your last names and then your names. Okay, this is the way that you have to write your names in your profiles. And this is, has to be every single day. Okay? So in this moment, I want you guys to start modifying your names, please. First, write your last names and then write your names. If you don't know how to do it, uh, well, if you are in the computer or if you are from the cell phone, the only things that you need to do is click in the option where is your camera, your face, your name, and you will find three little dots. Click in the dots and then it says rename. And there you can change your name, okay? So everybody, let's change your name. If you cannot do it in that option, there is another option that you can use. Go to the option that says participants, click in the option that says participants, and then you will click in your name, and then there is the options that says rename, okay? I will give you a minute in order to modify your names, please. Okay, I can see some of you already modified it. Very good job, very good job. Okay. Um, okay, very good. Odilia, change your name, please. I need you to write your full names, but first the last names and then the names. The rest of you, I think that everybody already has the full names correctly. Very good, excellent. So please, every day, guys, when you enter to the meeting, um, verify and confirm that you have the full name, okay? Exactly like this. Um, and I'm going to explain why. I'm not going to check attendance during the class, like uh, Anna, present, Luis, present. No, I'm not going to check attendance like that. Zoom is going to verify the attendance automatically. So if you don't write your full names, you are not going to have attendance for that day. Imagine that in your profile, you write only Clarissa. Zoom is not going to recognize that user and it's not going to give you the points for the attendance in that day. Okay, so that's why it is necessary to write the full name every single day. Is it clear, the first rule, everybody? Yes? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes, I understand. Excellent, very good. The second rule is a little bit difficult for some people. The camera on. And listen, the camera on is during the full class, not only at the beginning, not only at the end, no, it's during the full class, okay? And again, guys, in support, sometimes uh, some representatives from in support enter to the class and they observe. And sometimes they ask, okay, why this student doesn't have the camera on, okay? And that, guys, can affect you because they will think, 
ah, this person is not in the class. This person is not paying attention because they cannot see you. With the camera on, you prove that you are here in the class. You prove that you are paying attention, okay? And during the class, I will take two screenshots, okay? During the screenshots, of course, I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to take the screenshots. I can take the screenshots anytime. So that's why you need to keep the camera on. And I will share an example. This is from another team. Um, let me see, let me see. This is another group, okay? In this group, if you see, I took a screenshot. Can you see the screenshot that I took? Yes? Yes. yes. I have, look, I have two yes. people with the camera yes. off. And what happens? I send that screenshot every single day to InsaForm and they will verify it. And at the end, it is like, okay, why? Why these people are not there? And that can affect you guys if you want to continue in the next level, all right? So again, I'm going to take two screenshots during the class. I'm not going to tell you a when or uh, what time? No, because the reason or the idea is that you can keep the camera on all the time. I know that that is a difficult rule for some of you, but it is necessary is what Insafor is asking. Okay? Is it clear that rule, everybody? Yes, clear. Yes? Yes. 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 All right. And remember, this is for every day, not only at the beginning, not only the first day, mm -mm, every day. Now, this, uh, the third rule that we need to follow is the attendance. And this is one of the most important aspects that uh, InsaFor evaluates. Remember, again, this is a scholarship. That's why we need to follow these rules. Um, you have to be connected every single day and the class guys last 90 minutes. So you had to be connected the 90 minutes, okay? And again, the attendance is generated by Zoom automatically. So imagine that the class starts exactly at 10, but if you connect at 10, 10 or five, so you already missed five minutes. You are not going to get 90 minutes. You are going to get only 85 minutes. And that is going to affect at the end. Now, again, I'm going to share with you an attendance. This is from another team. Look at this one. Can you see the attendance that I'm sharing right now? Yes. 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 I have this person, for example, and look, the first class she connected the 90 minutes. So those minutes are generating by Zoom. It's not me, it's automatically. But if you see, there are some other students. Look, for example, this one. Can you see how many minutes did she connect this day? Only yeah, 73. 73. Exactly. Um, if you scroll down, we can see some people with zero minutes, right? And that is going to affect you. Okay. Now, important. Uh, let me see if I have one case over here. Mm, I think I don't. Okay. Look, what happens? when you have emergency, because I know that that can happen, okay? And if you say, teacher, you know, tomorrow I cannot be in the class because I have an emergency, I need to do something important. I totally understand, guys, and I will believe you. But if you don't connect, how many minutes are going to appear in the attendance? 
even if you ask permission, if you don't connect, you will have zero, okay? So it is important to think about this. You can ask for permission and I will totally understand, but if you don't connect in the attendance, it will be always zero. What I do is, okay, she asked for a permission, she informed, so I add the comment and I say, uh, she couldn't be in the class, right? Because she said that she was at the hospital, okay? I add the comment. You will always have zero, but Insa4 can see the reason. They can see that at least you inform. However, guys, I repeat, and I want to be clear, if you are not in the class, you will always have zero. I want to be clear in this aspect. Understood? Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it is important, guys. So I know that you can have some emergencies. Believe me, I trust you. I understand. So my recommendation is if you have an emergency, you can be connected as listener. What does it mean? That you can be in the class, but when you write your name, you have to add the word listener. So listener, Rivera Escobar, Clarissa Betsabe. That is the full name that you have to write. When you write the word listener, I will understand that that day you cannot participate in the class, okay? So if you had to be in the supermarket, if you had to be, I don't know, maybe in an emergency, connect to the class, keep your microphones off, and I will understand that you cannot participate. Understood? That is the options that I can offer you so you can be in the class, but just as a listener. But this is just in case of emergencies. Understood? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, yes, yes. everybody, this is the moment for questions. Do you have questions about these rules? Yes? No? All right. No. It's clear for me. Okay. I know that it's difficult, everybody. I know. But again, this is a scholarship. Okay? So it is for free. So I think that we can make an effort. This is only 90 minutes. And this level is only for 20 days. So basically, we just have to be in the class 20 days. Let's try to be responsible for 20 days, okay? We can do it. It is not impossible, okay? Now, those are the rules. I will be reminding you the rules every single day. Don't worry. And these will be our evaluation system. These are the aspects that I'm going to evaluate. The number one, we are going to have a homework per week. This homework, I will explain every week what the homework will be. It can be an exercise. It can be to send an audio. It depends, okay? But it will be one homework per week. So in total, we are going to have four homeworks during the level. And these homeworks will be evaluated, okay? So um, for example, at the end of this week, I will explain, okay, guys, the homework for this week is this and this and this. Send the homework on WhatsApp's group. That's it. If you don't send it, you are not going to have the score for that week. Another evaluation, as I mentioned before, we are going to have 
two speaking evaluations. These speaking evaluations, we do it here in the class. If you are not in the class, you are not going to take the speaking evaluation. For example, imagine, this is an example, that tomorrow we are going to have the speaking evaluation I will give you the instruction. I will explain what we are going to do. And we are going to have a practice in the class before the exam, okay? So you can feel confident and ready. So the, again, the speaking evaluations, we do it here in the class. Understood? So far so good? Yes? Yes. 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 Yeah. Good. Please, if you have a question, tell me. I can explain again. Then we are going to have three written exams. The written exams, they are in the platform. We are not going to do it in the class. No, the written exam, guys, you can do it at home whenever you want. Uh, you can do it in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, whenever you want, okay? Then another aspect that I'm going to evaluate is the platform. Of course, you have to finish the exercise that appears there. And a very important aspect that I'm going to evaluate is the participation, okay? During the class, we are going to have speaking activities and I expect to everybody participate, okay? When I say I want to volunteer, I will be paying attention to the people who participate and the one who don't. So participation will be evaluated. And basically guys, those are the aspects that will be evaluated and you will get a final score. Any questions so far about the evaluation system? No, no teacher. No questions? No. All right. For the ones that are new, I want to share with you guys how the platform looks like. Of course, I'm going to uh, explain later step by step when you receive your user. This is the platform. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes? yes? Yes. Look, you will receive the user, you will receive a password, and you just have to log in. Um, I have a lot of courses because I'm a teacher, but in your case, you will see an option that says pre-intermediate two. That is the box that you will see. When you click in there, you will find a lot of exercises. So what you need to do is just click in the first option, read the information, and then complete and continue. You will see some videos that will explain the topic. The videos are very short, so you have to watch the videos and then complete and continue. And you can start the first exercise. For example, this is one of the first exercise in this unit, look at the picture, you just have to choose the correct answer. And when you finish, click here, submit and answer. And then go to the next exercise and so on and so on. This is the way that you can work in the platform. If you see here, we have the first exam. So when you finish the previous exercise, you can take the first exam. If you scroll down here, we have the second exam. And at the end, we have the final exam over here. By the end of this level, you have to finish all the exercises. If you don't finish the exercises, if you don't complete the platform, you cannot go to the next level, okay? Understood, everybody? 
Okay, I don't want to sound <laughs> like very strict. I don't want you guys to feel like, oh my goodness, so many rules. This is going to be difficult. Not really, right? Remember that uh, this is a scholarship. Okay, so we need to try to do our very best. Now, do you have any questions about the rules, about the evaluation system? This is the moment for questions. Uh huh. Anyone? No questions? Oh, well, teacher, I think that all is clear. Excellent. Very good. Nobody? Okay. Uh, remember any questions that you may have. Also, you can send it on WhatsApp's group and I will be there helping you. And just remember, this is pre intermediate. So if you are going to write on WhatsApp's group, try to do it in English in order that you can practice it. And here in the class, no Spanish. All right. I know that for some of you can be difficult teacher. I don't know how to say this. Little by little, guys, if you don't know how to say a word in English, we can help each other, okay? But full English. If you say, teacher, I have a question, but in Spanish, I'm sorry, but no, we need to try to speak only in English. All right? Clear? Very good. Yeah. I, I can see you a little stressful, guys. <laughs> Are you stressful? Serious. I can see you very serious. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's start the class and let's talk about something that you can feel more relaxed. Okay. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. The first topic, guys, let me ask you some questions. What kind of movies do you like? horror movies, action movies, romantic. I don't know. What kind of movies do you like? I prefer romantic movies. Romantic movies. Okay. Sounds good. Who else? Me too. Romantic, romantic. movies and action. And actions. Ah, okay. Anyone? I like, you? More, I like more the science fiction or the superhero. Ah, okay, those are good movies too. I prefer science fiction and comedy. Okay. For me, I prefer horror movies and dramatic. Ah, nice. I love horror yes. movies too. <laughs> Pretty good. So guys, um, let me ask individually because there are some people I, I don't listen. I want to everybody participate. Let me pick someone. Da -da 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 -da. Dora Alicia Rivera. Hello, Dora. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm great. So, Dora, tell me, um, what is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is um, The Avenger. The Avengers, oh my goodness, I love Avengers too. <laughs> nice, that's a good movie. Um, yeah. very good. Thank you, Dora. Thank you. Let's see, Alan Umberto. Hello, Alan. Hi. How are you? How are you? Pretty good. Thank you. And you? I'm great. I'm great. What was the last movie that you watched? Was um, Letters by Juliet. Ah, okay. That, that's really a good like movie. It. I really like romantic movies. Nice. What else? Another kind of movie that you prefer? Um, fantasy. Nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Alan. You're welcome. Um, let me pick Wilbur. Wilbur Caballero. Hello. Hello, hello, Wilbur. Microphone, can you hear me? Okay, let me ask to Catherine Melissa. Hello, Catherine. Hi, teacher. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Pride and Produce. Oh, that's a nice movie. 
And let me yeah. ask you, have you ever cried on a movie, on a sad movie? Um, can you repeat again? Have you ever cried? Yes. <laughs> what, was, what was the movie? Um, it's funny for me because when, when I went to the cinema with my boyfriend, we went to watch the element of Disney is an animation movie. I know. And I really cry when the man of water is crying. I cry too with him. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yes, Wilbur. Hello. Hey, no. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Victor. Yes. Sorry. Yes, I I uh, only only have a, a question for you. Mm -hmm. I don't um I don't understand a. Uh, uh, how you cannot say that the the best movie ever invented is uh, Shrek Two? <laughs> Shrek Two. Yes, Shrek Two is the best movie of, uh, <laughs> of all of time. Actually, uh, it's so. pretty good. That's a very good movie. Yeah, it's the best of the all of saga, I think. <laughs> <laughs> mm, let's see. Shrek mm -hmm. 1 is good too. For me, it's difficult to decide which one is better, the one or two, but I love both. <laughs> nice, yeah. very good. Um, okay, Wilbur, I can see you have the microphone <coughs> open. Can you speak? Hello? Hello. Okay, Wilbur, what was the last movie that you see? Uh, Mario Bros. movie. Ah, okay. Did you like it? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. All right. Because of the time, I cannot ask individually one by one, but the idea is that all of us will practice. <coughs> so, according to these questions, guys, what do you think? What is the topic that we are going to study? Uh huh. What do you think? What is the topic for today? Grammar. Grammar. Okay, but what is the grammar topic? Look, we are going to talk about movies. Do you like to watch movies, everyone? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's good because we are going to discuss some vocabulary related to movies. Um, listen, I will present some vocabulary. So my recommendation is to always take note. At the end of the class, I'm not going to share the presentation. I mean, I'm not going to send you the presentation on WhatsApp group. So if you want, you can take note, you can take screenshots if you want, or you can write down the information. If you are copying, if you are writing, you can tell me, teacher, give me a minute. I just need to copy and I will give you the time. No worry about it. Okay? But copy the information. Now, let's start. When we are talking about movies, we have different genres. Some of you were talking about uh, uh, romantic movies. Some of you mentioned scientific movies some other actions, movies. So here we have some vocabulary about the different kind of genres that we have. For example, um, can you name a movie that is in animations option? Can you tell me an animation movie? Toy Story. Toy Story, yes. What Take else? a little monster yeah. in. Correct. So. Awesome. Uh huh. Do you like animation movies? I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Those are great. Now, how about um, horror movies? Can you give me examples of horror movies? On here? Yes. What else? It um, the, the Nun. Yeah, the nun. I love that one. Yes, too. it's horrible. horrible. <laughs> I know. And the nun too. It's it's soon. It's coming soon. Ah, uh, yeah, in the cinema. Yeah. Do you like horror movies, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, pretty good. It's now, my favorite about this. Okay, very good. Now, how about musical? Can you tell me examples of musical movies? Mamma Mia. Musical. <laughs> Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, High School Musical. The Great and Showman. Yeah, that's a good one. Do you, do you like Hoodlums. musical movies? No. Yes? No? Yeah. Yes. Mm, yes. Well, basically, almost every Disney movie are musical, right? They sing a lot. Now, how about comedy? Can you name some comedy movies? Just go with it. Yes. Girls Out. Very good. The Mask. <laughs> the Mask. That's a classic one. So, yeah. do you like comedy movies? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So if you see, we have different kind of genders and everybody can decide which one is their favorite ones. Did you copy the vocabulary? Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, I have here some genders and I have here some definitions. We need to match them. For example, if I say romance, what could be the best definition for a romance movie? B. B. Letter B. B. Movie that tells a love story. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. 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 Very yes. good. How about Western movies? What is that? Have you ever heard about Little, Western movies? Little C. Letter C. Letter C. Let's A movie about life in West. Hmm. Can you give me examples of Western movies? Cowboy and aliens. <laughs> okay. Bonanza. Have you ever heard about this actor, Clean is Good? Yeah. So basically, the good, bad, yeah. and ugly. <laughs> His movies are an example of Western movies. Do you like those kind of movies, guys? No. Not really. No. No, no. no. But what do you think about your parents? Do you think that your parents like Western movies? No. No? Maybe. No. Maybe, but Maybe, I right? <laughs> All right. How about horror? What will be the correct definition for horror movies? Nerdy. Nerdy. A movie that tries to scare the audience. Good. How about action? Letter F. F. Letter F. 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 Okay, letter F. F. Letter F. So, a movie with a fast moving story full of danger, excitement. Okay, how about science fiction? Letter A. 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 Okay, letter A. A movie about events that take place in the future or in another planet. Can you give me examples of science fiction movies? Interstellar. Yes. Powers. Yeah. yeah. Star Trek. Correct. Do you like science fiction movies? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Okay, the next one, comedy. E. Literally. E. Literally. E. Right? A movie that tries to make people laugh. So, which of these ones do you prefer, everyone? Science fiction. Science fiction, okay. Horror movies. Horror comedy. Movies. Horror, Horror, science fiction, science fiction, science fiction and comedy. Cool, <laughs> excellent. Okay, I can see that you have different tastes. Sounds good, sounds good. Now, look at this one. I will share with you some photos about some pictures. And you have to tell me what kind of movie is that, okay? Uh, let me open up the pictures, one second. 
Okay. According to this picture, what do you think? What kind of movie is this? Action. Action. Film. Action. Film. Action. Film. Action. Film. Definitely. Very good. How about this one? Animation. 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 So, uh, look, no. we can action. say animation, or we can also call it cartoon. cartoon. And it's basically the same. Okay? What about this one? Comedy. 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 And this Comedy. one? Uh, okay. drama. 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 This look more like drama very good and this one so look those movies film. that are based on some historical events they receive the name of historical films do you like historical films yes yes, yes. 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 i, I like love it, it. yeah Hey, can you give me examples of historical films? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Oh, yeah. oh very good. That's a Brave. good one. Yeah. So good, so good. Yeah. Okay, what about this one? Horror, horror film. Horror, 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 horror. horror. Remember that in English we can say movie or we can say film. Yeah. And it's exactly film. the same. So you can say, ah, my favorite movie is, or you can say, my favorite film is. It's exactly the same. How about this one? What do you think? A thriller. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and what is the meaning of thriller? What do you think? Can you give me examples of thriller movies? Thriller is a combination. It's a movie that has suspense. It has some a sense or some horror sense, drama, and basically it's a combination of everything. That is a thriller. Can you give me examples of another thriller? Remember those movies with a lot of suspense, with a lot of maybe drama. A, maybe a scream. Yes, could be. What else? Crepuscula. Twilight. The Black Swan. Yes, could be. Yes. Do you like thriller movies? Mm, yeah. 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 Yes. So. yes. <laughs> A little right. Hey, if you if you suffer for anxiety, <laughs> the suspense is not so good. How about this one? What is this? Musical. 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 Oh, musical. Musical. And this one? Western. 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 Ah, very good. So remember, all those movies with cowboys eh, that they are filmed in the Western. So this is Western movies. What about this one? War film. War, war, film. war, war film. film. War film. Do you like, do you like war films? Yes. Yeah. It's very interesting. It is yes. actually very good. Okay, the last one. Science. Science. So we can say science fiction, or in a brief way, we can call them sci-fi. Okay, but it's basically the same. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now. This is the vocabulary according to the genders. Is it clear that vocabulary? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Now, we are going to see, imagine that I ask you, hey, what is your favorite movie? Ah, my favorite movie. For example, some of you say Avenger. Ah, my favorite movie is Shrek. But I ask you, Tell me about that movie. What is the movie about? So we have to describe the movie. And if you want to describe the movie, we need to use different adjectives, okay? I'm going to share positive adjectives and negative adjectives. Let's start with the positive. For example, I can say that a movie is touching. What do you think? Don't tell me the translation, the meaning. What do you think? What is the meaning of 
Satoshi. From Moreda? Yes. It's a it's a movie that can touch your feelings, your emotions. Can you give me an example of a touching movie? What do you think? Chico. Ah, yeah. That's a good example of a touching movie. What else? Uh, I think Pursuit of Happiness. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> yes. Remember, that is the meaning for touching. It can makes you feel a lot of emotions. Okay? So that is a positive adjective to describe a movie. Okay? Do you like touching movies? Yes? yes. Or not? Uh -huh. Yes. So, so? Okay. So now, another adjective that we can use to describe movies is intense, right? Those movies that has some scenes very intense. Can you give me examples of intense movies? Uh -huh. um, what kind of in intense, teacher? <laughs> intense is in general, guys. Um, fast and Furious. Okay, Fast and Furious. Yes, those movies have very intense scenes. What else? Any other movie that has intense scenes? Maybe, Maybe Transformer game? for the effects. Or... Ah, that's a good example. Very good. Do you like those kind of movies? Mm -hmm. Yes. When we are talking about intense, it's related to the action fact. What is the meaning of action fact? What do you think? I don't know. Uh-huh. They are related. Action packed means a movie with a lot of action scenes. For example, do you think that Fast and Furious is an action packed movie? Yes or no? Yes. yes. It is. Yes. Maybe. Definitely. What else? Another example of action packed movie? Um. Uh huh. A movie with a lot of action. What do you think? Can you give me an example? Um, Kung Gong. Which one? Top Gun. Yes, Top Gun. Mm -hmm. So if you see those movies are intense and also are action packed. Remember, these words are adjectives. We have to use it as an adjective. So you can say, ah, I like Top Gun. A Top Gun is an action packed movie. Okay? I'm using action packed as an adjective. Then we have a comical. Can you give me a movie that is comical? They, they are like children. <laughs> yes, that is a very comical movie. And comical is related to hilarious. What is the meaning of hilarious? What do you think? Anyone? Have you ever seen that word? It's funny, maybe. Exactly. Hilarious is like funny. It's the movie that makes you laugh, okay? So comical and hilarious, they are related. Um, be careful with the microphones, please. Um, remember, you can answer, but then uh, turn off the microphone again. Um, then we have a movie that are enjoyable, those movies that makes you feel good when you are watching them. And look at this adjective. We have... First rate. What do you think? What is the meaning of first rate? Uh huh. Any idea?
first rate is like an evaluation. If the movie is pretty good or excellent, we say, hey, this movie is first rate. Can you give me an example, guys? In your opinion, what is a first rate movie? For movies like Christopher Nolan, like Inception or Interstellar. Yeah, Prestige. Very good, yes. Uh huh. What else? Another first rate movie? The uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse movie. Okay. What else? Another one? I think Titanic. Titanic. It's a classic movie, yes. So I look at this. Know. Which one? The life is beautiful. Yes. Imagine those are first rate movie. That means that is the evaluation that you can give to the movie. Imagine that if the movie is not so good, <laughs> instead of saying first, what can we say? Last, maybe. Yes last rate or we can give the numbers this is like the stars first rate means excellent second rate is like mm, not so good not so bad but not so good or you can even say third third rate four rate so if you give numbers you can evaluate what kind of movie is it then we have sensitive movies. Sensitive is related to touching, okay? The meaning is similar, those movies that makes you feel a lot of emotions. Captivating, can you tell me examples of movies that are captivating? Titanic. Titanic, yes, definitely. What else? One Day After Tomorrow. Yes, that's a good one. Maybe uh, the help. The what? The help. Oh, the help. Yes, that's a good movie. It's very captivating. Then we have fascinating. This is a, a very common adjective. And we have this one, tear maker. What is the meaning of tear maker? What do you think? If you cry during a movie, that means that that movie is tear maker. Which movies do you think, guys, that can make people cry? One day. One day? Yeah. Did you cry? In La La Land. La La Land, did you cry on those movies? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. What else? Another tear maker you movie? Be I before you. Your yes. name. Ah, very Your good. Name. Yes. So you see, there are different movies that can make people cry. If you cry, those are tear maker movies. Okay? So is it clear the meaning of these adjectives, everybody? Yes? Yes. 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 Did you copy yes. the adjectives? Yes. yes. Okay, copy please because we are going to use them. Now, what happens if I want to describe a movie but using negative adjectives? Which adjectives can we use? Okay, as I was mentioned, if the movie is not so good, we can use the second rate. Can you tell me some movies that you consider are second rate? Uh huh. For example, your, your classmate mentioned Shrek. Shrek 1 and 2, they are very good movies. But Shrek 3rd, yeah, yes, that right. is a second rate, right? That was not so good. Another idea of second rate movies? Avatar. Avatar, which one? Two. The second one? Okay, so you can say Avatar was second rate. That means it's not so bad, but it wasn't so good. Okay? 
Then we have violent movies. Creepy movie. What is the meaning of creepy? What do you think? Any like idea? a horror? horror movie? Yes. Creepy is those movies like with a lot of horror stands. Do you like creepy movies? Yes? No? A little bit then? No? You don't like it? Yeah. Yes? And then we have another adjective that is flowed. Flowed. What is the meaning of flowed? Any idea? Flowed are those movies with a lot of imperfections, right? Those movies that they don't have a lot of coherence. Sometimes the actors are not good. Um, sometimes the soundtracks of the movies are not so good. So can you give me an example of flawed movies? What movies comes to your mind? Uh huh. No idea. I think the live action of Dragon Ball. Ah, it was okay. a whole yeah. adaptation. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that was very bad. Yes. If you remember, in my opinion, Avatar: The Last. Airbender, have you ever seen that yeah. movie? Yeah, I mean, the yeah. cartoon yeah. was, yeah. Yes. Yeah. but the movie was very flawed, right? It wasn't good, it has a lot of imperfections. And then we have boring movies. Which movie do you consider that is boring, guys? Mm -hmm. The Lord of the Ring, okay. Yeah, for some people, the Lord of the Rings is boring. Oh, why? <laughs> some people can think that Star Wars movies are boring. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is Harry, no, Star Harry Potter Wars. is amazing. <laughs> I think, listen, uh, we are going to... I don't agree. Harry Potter is the best. <laughs> okay, look, we are going to omit that one because we are going to have a debate here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, but yeah, in your opinion, right? Some movies can be boring from some other. Maybe they are fantastic. So uh, we have ordinary movies. Those movies that are like, eh, no good, no bad. It's just like, eh, it didn't catch my attention. Disgusting, absolutely bad. Okay, I'm not going to ask because you can mention some movies that from your class may are good. Then we have disappointing, those movies that you expect a lot, but when you watch it, it's like, what? <laughs> have you ever seen those kind of movies, guys? Yes. Which ones? Uh, Duna. Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. Was Barbie disappointing? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, but I didn't no watch reaction. it, so I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So imagine. For me, uh, the Star Wars episode nine. Uh huh. Disappointing. Okay, so you. Yeah. So disappointing. You were expecting a lot, but in the end, it was like, mm, nah, right? So there are some other kind of movie that ones that are predictable. What is the meaning of predictable? What do you think? When you have an idea about a movie, and it's true. This is exactly like, imagine you are watching the movie and in the first five minutes, you already know what will happen. <laughs> yes? And the final so, is obviously. <laughs> exactly. The final is like yes. very predictable. This is like, uh, a, it's very common in the romantic movie, right? There is a girl, yeah. there is the boy. Yes. And it, it doesn't matter what happens, you they know. They get that, married. They get married, they live together, yeah. and da da da. So those are predictable movies. And then we have an interesting, of course, this is the opposite for interesting movie. And this is depends on each person. For me, you can say, ah, Star Wars is totally interesting. But for some other people, they say, no, for me, that is an interesting movie so it depends on you now did you copy 
everybody the adjectives? Yes. 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 Okay. Let's have a practice. Describe this movie using the vocabulary. Have you ever seen this one? Oh. Yes, it's yes, amazing. It's yeah, violent. It's a fierce rage. Film. <laughs> okay, some of you say it's a violent film. Some of you yes. say that it's a first rate film. What else? But it's it's good. It's really good. <laughs> it's a really good movie. Mm -hmm. It's an action packed film. Ah, very good. This is an action packed movie. What else? Is a creepy movie? What do you no. think? Not really, right? No. Do you think that is a a sensitive movie? No. Uh, maybe for someone. Maybe because, for some people. Uh huh. Because the people are mm, sensitive. Yeah. Especially some, if you love some dogs, of them. <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. how, about, how about this movie? Do you remember this movie? Have you ever seen it? Yeah. <laughs> Can you describe uh, this movie? Uh, it's about a <laughs> extraterrestrial. <laughs> yes, it's about an <laughs> alien, right? <laughs> okay, describe it using the vocabulary. Second race. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a science fiction movie. Science fiction movie. For me, it's ordinary. It's an ordinary movie. Mm -hmm. Is it it's first grade? Okay, some of you can say that it's boring. What else? First rate, second rate. What do you think? Third rate. Second rate. Third okay. rate. Okay. <laughs> All right, how about this one? Have you ever seen this movie? Yes. yes. So what can you tell me about it? Yeah, it's a classic movie. It's sensitive. Sensitive. It's a great movie. Okay. Do you think that this movie is action-packed? No. 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 But it's so interesting. Okay, very good. Do you think that this movie is Tear Maker? No. Not really? Um, no. Uninteresting? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. It's For some people, right? Very good. Now, a classic one. How can you describe this movie? Fierce rage. It's a romantic movie. Romantic, first rate. Coaching. Coaching. Sensitive. Very good. It's dramatical. Yeah. Dramatic. Dramatic movie. It's intense. Intense. Yes. So look, we are describing movies using positive or negative adjectives. Okay? Is it clear? The way that we can use those adjectives, everybody? Any yes. questions so far? No questions? No questions. Okay, so I know that not everybody is talking, but during this speaking practice, the idea is to everybody participate. In this moment, guys, I want you to think about your favorite movie. If you say, teacher, I don't have a favorite movie, it's okay, pick one movie, the ones that comes to your mind. And I want you to tell your classmates your favorite movie or the movie that you prefer, the movie that comes to your mind. And I want you to describe the movie using the vocabulary, positive and negative adjectives. For example, I will describe one of my favorite movies. Have you ever seen uh, The Conjuring? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen that yes. movie? Yes? No? Yes. Well, in my personal opinion, I love horror movies. 
So the idea is that you have to describe the movie. So you can say, hey guys, well, my favorite movie is The Conjuring. The Conjuring is supernatural horror films. Uh, this movie is very creepy. And I don't know, you can start describing the movie using the vocabulary. And you can tell me what's the movie about. I This movie is about a family. Uh, the last name is Perron. So the Perron's family experience supernatural events. So this movie is very intense. Uh, for me, this movie is first rate. Uh, it's very absorbing, it's, it's very creepy. But believe me, guys, if you watch this movie, you will be captivated. And I don't know, you can give me more and more details. Is it clear the way that you are going to describe the movie? Yes? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Any questions? Okay, I need a volunteer to explain me what's the activity about. Uh -huh. Can you explain me what are we going to do? Describe um, a, our favorite movie using uh -huh. the adjective, positive or negative. That's it, exactly. So listen, in this moment, we are going to enter to the breakup rooms. For the ones that are not familiar with the breakup rooms, I'm going to open different uh, sessions and in your screen, it's going to appear um, like a message that join to the group, okay? And when you click there, automatically you will go to the next team, okay? So in this moment uh, on WhatsApp's group, I'm sending the instructions. And I want to everybody start thinking about your favorite movie, okay? We are going to be working in groups of three or four, but everybody has to speak, okay? For example, uh, if there are three people, okay? First of all, one, then the other, and so on and so on. Pay attention to your classmates because when we come back, I can ask you and I can say, okay, Sergio, tell me what your classmate said. Ah, my classmate talked about the movie Interestelar. Okay, so I can ask you questions, so pay attention to your classmates. Zero Spanish. Okay, you ready, everybody? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes, yes. Let's go so... to work. Let's go to work. Enter to the breakup rooms, please. Let's go to work. Okay. Hi. Uh, Hi. Okay. <clears throat> my favorite movie is um, Throw My Window. It's a romantic movie. Um, uh, uh, the movie is very intensive because it's a, a romantic and I love movies romantic and I think that the movie is very um um yeah, amazing for example and uh, it's about the the Artist is a, a rich boy and Raquel is a, her neighbor and later he falls in love with her and the movie uh, is very um, in my opinion that the movie is very sensitive, sensitive because in, at the end of the movie he, he went to the university and 
PSA at home. And she, she, sorry. Don't, I don't watch a lot of movies. I, I, I don't like it. Okay. That's, that's my chance for me. And Jocelyn, what about you? What is your favorite movie or your favorite kind of movie? Okay. In my case, I don't have only one favorite movie, but I really like uh, Fast and Furious because I love the, um, the action movies. And I went to see the, I went to see the last uh, in the cinema with my boyfriend. And I love it <laughs> uh, because the the film is very um, intense. Yeah, um, but but uh, the the last movies is like a a sci fi film. <laughs> Do you agree or, or not? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for that reason, uh, I I I don't like it the the last movie because uh, it's more a. Uh, a science fiction, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know, uh, it like... Uh, it's like fantasy. For me, <laughs> yes. But it's like, that's... Uh, no, yes, I, but I only like that yes. one, I think the one, two, the, yes, the one in, in the two movie, I think that is, they are the best uh, movies. And then, uh, I, I don't like... Uh, and the other one. But the last no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. okay. Yes. And That's you? Ah, uh, as you know, what is my favorite movie? Is is the Shrek, Shrek two, because uh, uh, it's uh, it's for the ogre. Well, I I don't know how how pronunciation, but it's uh, like uh, the ogre and a donkey. They are the best friends and. <laughs> They have the missions uh, to res res rescue, I think. And it's funny, right? 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 Yeah. Rescue the the princess that at the beginning they they think that uh, she will be a uh, very beautiful and <laughs> and so and then no <laughs> and then it's uh, no uh, they are bad. It's uh, I think that is a. a the best movie, so uh, it uh, makes me laugh a lot. So, yes, <laughs> for me. And uh, Melvin. Uh, ah, okay. Gift them. Oh, gifted. I never, and I never hear about it, but in your, in your searching, uh, Sophia, your movie name. Mm -hmm. The menu? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, the mini you. I'm going to write. Okay. Um is the mini you. It's Oh, I know, I know the gifted. I know that that movie. Also, I never seen, <laughs> but but an actor is so good, Chris yes. Evans. I love him. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what about? Anybody else? Uh -huh. I don't listen to anyone. <laughs> I'm speaking, um, um, <laughs> but another another uh, movies. <laughs> yes, you can talk about different movies, guys. Not necessarily only one. Remember that this is the moment that you can feel free to speak in English, okay? Okay. You can talk about series if you like to watch series too, so you can okay. include them. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay, Wilber, well, okay. what series do you like? <laughs> uh, the Big One Theory, Friends, 
Seinfeld. Uh, mostly comedian. Okay, in my case, my favorite uh, series was Base Motel. <laughs> and uh, because, I don't know, it's it's fascinating. <laughs> okay. How about the Big Bang Theory, Wilbur? What is that series about? It's about, tell me. How? How is the, oh, what's the movie? Uh, what's the series like? Describe it using the vocabulary. It's, uh, it's hilarious. It's about five physics who work for a university and all of the, the things that come with them, like uh video games and comic books and problems to talk to women <laughs> and something like that is is very funny that's good i like that series too how about paola paola are you there yes i'm here um my favorite series uh is called um the season, it's like a Christian um series. It's sensitive, um, it's captivating. Also, it's enjoyable. I think um talk about Jesus and the person uh, that follow, and it's very interesting for me. I think nice. Sounds very interesting. Okay. Um, I will check another group. So you can continue discussing to another movie maybe you have some movies in common okay, okay remember okay. try to describe it using the vocabulary okay pretty good let's continue okay. japanese <laughs> because i i see them uh, the same face and the, the same eyes so yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in my case, I never. Only but it's, it's for it's for her. But uh, I I like to watch an um, civil movie. The, the how how do you say this one? Um, the the war movie. The war. But, but she is only with me, so prefer watch uh La Sirenita. <laughs> Do you like Barbie? No. no. Oh, man. I don't watch uh, this this movie. What is the last last one movie? Do you watch the last one? Me. The last one movie. Yes. The last uh, one movie. Uh, the with do you do you watch? The 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 red the, the, the King Lion. <laughs> <laughs> the King the Lion. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Uh huh. Why are you not talking? I cannot listen you talking. Uh. And Wendy tell me his favorite movie is The Blind Side. The, the movie is touching and sensitive. The movie about a child who has parents and is poor. And he, how do you say, le ayuda a una familia americana, una familia blanca. I don't know. <laughs> An American family. An American family. Okay. And his favorite movie, sorry. Yes, Senior, tell me his favorite movie is Titanic. He's talking in Captivating. Okay. Sensitive. All right. Yeah. Very That's good. Very good. Okay, I see that Xiomara paid a lot of attention. So Wendy and Yesenia, how about Xiomara? Yes. What's her Mar favorite movie? Maricela tells us that 
his favorite movie is Interstellar. Yeah, uh -huh. he and and Wendy is a uh, her favorite movie is a uh, Blind Side. And so that good. is um Xiomara told me about Interstellar. It's a a science fiction movie and it's about a universe uh talk about dark holes in the universe or the space and for her in her ca in case it's captivating and fascinating nice very good very good okay excellent job girls now we are going to go back to the main room okay let's go back All right, time's up. Let's wait for everybody. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right. Let's see. I'm waiting for everybody to return to the main room. How was the practice, everybody? Was it easy or difficult? Uh -huh. It was easy. Easy, okay. And you guys, easy or difficult? Well, easy, easy and interesting. Easy. Ah, interesting and so so. <laughs> very good. I was listening, guys. Very interesting movies. Very good job. Okay, now let's see if you paid attention to your classmates. Let me ask you, did your classmate use the vocabulary? Yes. 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 Ah, yes okay. Did you understand what your classmate said? Yes. 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 Did you pay attention to your classmates? Yes, of yes. course. Okay. <laughs> um, and the most important, did your classmates speak in Spanish? Mm. No teacher. No. Never, no, right? No. Yeah. Excellent, that's the yeah. attitude. Okay, well, let me interview you. Let's see if you paid attention. Uh, let me pick someone randomly. Da -da 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 -da. Dora Alicia. Hello, Dora. Hello, teacher. So, Dora, tell me, um, what was the movie that your classmate talked about? I know that you were working with Jose Roberto and Sergio, right? Yes. So tell me about Sergio. What is okay. his favorite movie? Uh, his favorite movie of Sergio is Shooter. And what's the movie like? Uh, because it's an interesting movie and it's a violent because it's vengative. Oh my goodness, Sergio. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. Okay, is that true, Sergio? What Dora said is true? Yes, it's, it's a ah. true. But it's the vengative for the bad people. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, Dora, very good. I see that you paid attention. Very good. Let me ask to, 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 to Melvin Rivas. Hello, Melvin. Hello. Okay, Melvin, tell me what was your classmate's favorite movie? Mm, Victor uh, loves Shrek 2. Ah, and how did uh, he describe the movie? Uh, because uh, Shrek uh, met Donkey and uh, they are uh, best friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Shrek, uh, and Shrek uh, married her uh, Fiona. <laughs> the Princess Fiona. That's Princess good. Fiona. All right. So, Victor, is that true? Is that your favorite yes. movie? Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, Melvin, you paid But attention. I, I, I have to say that the favorite movie, the Melvin's favorite movie is uh, Shrek 1. So, uh, ah. he, has, well, he has a good taste, like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see, guys, you can find people that have some things in common with you. Next, Reina Monte. Hello, Reina. Hello, teacher. So tell me about your classmates. What was their favorite movie? Uh, Dila, the, the, 
your favorite movie was it through my window a romantic movie and okay who was the favorite movie again can you repeat the name odila Pia. Ah, okay is that true Odile? yes yes Yes, my favorite movie is Throw My Window is a romantic movie. And what about Reina, Delia? What is her favorite movie? Her favorite movie is Harry Potter because uh, uh, is the, fir uh, the first movie is her favorite uh, movie because it's more interesting and is a fan fantasy movie. Nice. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, because of the time, I cannot ask individually, but listen, in every single class, we are going to have this speaking time. So in every single class, you have to be ready to participate. In every single class, we will go to the breakup rooms and we are going to talk. So the class will be like, okay, we are going to have grammar, practice and then speaking. The speaking is something that we will do in every single class. Understood, everybody? Very good. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So everybody, your first homework is to practice the vocabulary. Tomorrow, we are going to continue. So tomorrow, please, the vocabulary has to be in your mind. Now, do you have any questions, everybody, before leaving? No, no questions? No. Very good. Now, no congratulations, question. because I can see very beautiful with your camera on, with your full names. So I expect the same attitude during the full course. Got it? Yes? Got it. Excellent. OK, everyone, we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for being in the class. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank you.